the organizers have not made public where made public which company beg your pardon conducted the poll which informed the decision to lock out some contestants did as lawyer jason and said while filing the petition in mombasa that the criteria used to select candidates is vague and biased against his client the presiding judge justice john mativo said the petition will be determined on friday at the milimani court Okay, so, so I'm inviting you to be brief. I don't restrict uh, your arguments, but let's be to the point. Sometimes we say to assume the court or your friend knows the law, and you continue. And be very brief, Your Lordship. Yes. Your Lordship, the basis of this petition, mm. the basis of this petition, 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 Yes. Let's now speak to our Coast Region reporter, Francis Ontomo, on that. Ontomo, good afternoon. What do we expect uh, in the coming two days, uh, say, on Friday, given that we expect that debate next week on Monday? But things seem to be going haywire. Uh, indeed, Akisa, things seems to be going that direction. And uh, yes, indeed, Abduba Dida, the man who finished fourth in the 2013 general election, was today in court uh, to challenge uh, the, the, the criteria that has been applied uh, to determine the way the presidential debate will be conducted. And of course, the White Sands Hotel today was turned temporarily into a court uh, where Abduba Dida's lawyer presented his case, saying his side had, had been discriminated against in this particular debate because they say that they have. Uh, credible information uh, that uh, those who were organizing the presidential debate had actually divided this debate into two phases and they had been allocated the second phase and not the first phase and the argument was that having been cleared uh, by IABC all the pre eight presidential candidates uh, uh, to, their, to, their, to, their, to their understanding are all equal and therefore they should all be accorded the same platform the same time uh, to, to talk to Kenyans actually through that presidential debate and therefore looks like this time around this presidential debate uh, is facing all manner of hitches and uh, it's not clear really where the, direc the direction it's going to take, given that already we've had also the top contenders raising their own concerns. But at this juncture, of course, uh, those who are, who are, who are, who are appearing uh, for, the, for the media and um, for those actually preparing for this uh, election, uh, for this debate, had, had, had the arguments also saying that they had not discriminated against anyone. There was a criteria that was informed by a research and an opinion poll uh, that had informed them that all those who had uh, scored uh, below 5% will get a slot in the second phase of the debate. But that is what Abduba Dida and uh, others actually said that uh, they will be contesting. So at this particular juncture, of course, uh, that was heard by Justice uh, uh, John Mativo of, uh, of uh, Milimani Court, Nairobi. He was the man in charge of this uh, case. And uh, what he directed is that on Friday, he'll be giving his final determination on which way, on whether Abduba Dida will be getting uh, the first slot in the first phase of the debate or whether he will or whether the presidential debate will be called off altogether because he had moved to court to stop this particular debate and for this particular juncture of course it's now a matter of speculation akisa all right uh, thank you for that update francis uh, just be on standby there's something else um another situation we would like an update from and that is the reports that uh, we are following on that uh, gunmen uh, in lamu uh, Gunmen believed to be Al Shabaab militants uh, raided Pangdanguo area in Lamu County earlier.